there's no need to feel down I said, young man, pick yourself off the ground I said, young man, cause you're in a new town There's no need to be alone. What's up guys, boy Penny? Has Donald Trump officially released Dark MAGA? Well, check out his store. This is the all black Make America Great Again Never Surrender hat. I gotta get me one of these. I don't wear hats, but this is just, the vibe on this is too crispy. This is just a, an ad, that's a look right there. That's a look. This is like a historic item. You gotta get it. Ladies and gentlemen, is Dark MAGA finally been released? Is Donald Trump finally going to take revenge on those who are threatening to lock him up in prison. Just a reminder that the president can't be in jail, obviously, via the Constitution. The president must be allowed to move freely throughout the country, go anywhere he wants around the country, know everything about the country, and there should be no restraints on his powers except for those checked by co-equal branches of government. So that's not a state court uh, in rat-infested New York. So if you want to liberate Donald Trump, from the jail cell that they're trying to throw him in, just vote for Trump in November. That's my little plug. Donald Trump just dropped a interview on Fox News earlier today where he lays out his revenge strategy on the deep state that are trying to destroy his life, destroy his family's lives. And what was Donald Trump's crime? Well, his name was Donald Trump and he won the election in 2016. Former President Trump insisted bad people opposing him would be going after somebody else if it were not him. And he's right. Donald Trump uh, leveled this very, very interesting soundbite saying revenge will be my success, uh, and then saying that he plans on doing what the deep state fears the very most, declassifying files on 9-11, JFK, and Jeffrey Epstein. Uh, woof. All right, here we go. Some people think that one way to build trust is to declassify things that everyone's talking about. I know you talked earlier about, I don't want to be a conspiracy theorist. So, if you were president, would you declassify, you can answer yes or no to these, would you declassify the 9-11 um, files? Yeah. Would you declassify JFK files? Yeah. Would you, I did. I did a lot of it. Would you declassify the Epstein files? Yeah. Yeah, I would. All right. I guess I would. I think that less so because, you know, you don't know. It, you don't want to affect people's lives if it's phony stuff in there because there's a lot of phony stuff yeah. with that whole world. Uh, but I think I would. So why should this scare everybody in permanent Washington so much? Well, because it's been well beyond the statute of limitations for the Kennedy files. Let's just focus on those for just one second, because the Kennedy files are something that, uh, based on American law, should have been released to the American public uh, decades ago. Donald Trump, while he was in office, decided to not release them to the public saying that his hands were tied. Well, who has powerful enough to tie Donald Trump's hand? The, the answer is nobody. It was Donald Trump playing a game. He, and I'm not saying that as a critique, Donald Trump's a deal maker, and he was, he was making a deal with the devil, right? Don't rig the election against me, I won't release your JFK files. Well, they went back on their deal, and now Donald Trump's going to release it all. What does Donald Trump know about JFK? Listen to this shocking soundbite from inside of the White House in the last days of the Trump administration uh, about what Donald Trump knows about the JFK assassination. In my last conversation with President Trump in the White House, he called me a lot. And this is after January 6th, so it's two weeks before, or a week before he's leaving office. He wanted to run past me uh, my the names of people he was going to pardon and sentences he was going to commute. He wanted my opinion on them. Some of them I knew. Um, I said, how you doing? He said, ah, not too well. And he went off into a tangent about what he thought happened with the election. I said, you know, you made a promise to the public many times and to me privately that you haven't kept. What? What? I'll take care of it right now. I said, you promised you would release the records of the JFK assassination. He oh. said to me, Judge, if they showed you what they showed me, you wouldn't have released it either. And I said, who's they and what did they show you? And then he said, Judge, someday when we're on the phone, and then he raised his voice, and there aren't 15 people listening to the phone call, back to a normal voice, I'll tell you. Oh, my God. I mean, this makes it sound even worse. Who are they? Probably somebody in the intelligence community. What did they show him? JFK's brains blown out? This is it. You know, it, it, it was said by uh, one person that after the Kennedy assassination, 
there has been no president. They have only been factotums of the system since then. Yeah. Uh, and um, <clears throat> it, it, it may well be the most decisive event in modern American history. Right. Oh, okay. So Donald Trump knows exactly what happened during the JFK assassination, probably putting the pieces together. And that's why they got rid of Nixon. Remember, Nixon started asking too many questions about JFK and why they killed JFK. And then they assassinated Nixon in a very different way. They were able to assassinate Donald Trump in a very different way. Not physical assassinations. They become more sophisticated. They just did soft coups inside of our own country. And that is precisely what's happening now. The soft coup of the people who actually retain power, the super state that never, ever, ever changes. These people select their leaders. Nobody is elected here. Uh, and this is the way that they want it until Donald Trump came in and broke the systems. All the more reason to vote for Donald Trump this time around. You know, somebody started asking questions about the JFK files, and uh, the last show that he did this suddenly gets fired. Isn't that interesting? Here's what uh, Tucker Carlson dug up from a CIA source that got him threatening phone calls from Mike Pompeo's lawyer. I wonder what this is about. We decided to find out. We spoke to someone who had access to these still hidden CIA documents, a person who was deeply familiar with what they contain. We asked this person directly, did the CIA have a hand in the murder of John F. Kennedy, an American president? And here's the reply we received verbatim. Quote, the answer is yes. I believe they were involved. It's a whole different country from what we thought it was. It's all fake. It's hard to imagine a more jarring response than that. Again, this is not a, quote, conspiracy theorist that we spoke to. Not even close. This is someone with direct knowledge of the information that once again is being withheld from the American public. And the answer we received was unequivocal. Yes, the CIA was involved in the assassination of the president. Now, some people will not be surprised to hear that. They suspected it all along. But no matter how you feel about or what you thought about the Kennedy assassination, pause to consider what this means. It means that within the U.S. government, there are forces wholly beyond democratic control. These forces are more powerful than the elected officials that supposedly oversee them. These forces can affect election outcomes. They can even hide their complicity in the murder of an American president. In other words, they can do pretty much anything they want. They constitute a government within a government, mocking by their very existence the idea of democracy. As cynical as we have become after 30 years of watching government officials ignore the voters who employ them, we were shocked to learn this. It's not acceptable. Americans have trusted their government less with every passing year since the killing of John F. Kennedy. Maybe this is why. And people have known this for a long time. The people who knew would include every director of the CIA since November of 1963. And that list would include Obama's CIA director, John Brennan, one of the most sinister and dishonest figures in American life. That list would also include, we are sad to say, our friend Mike Pompeo. Yeah, I gotta tell you, um, the JFK stuff might get Donald Trump in trouble, but it's the Epstein stuff that's actually the most egregious here because Epstein has no friends. People on the left and the right are like broadly disgusted by Jeffrey Epstein. Jeffrey Epstein was clearly an intelligence op. Now for who and how, we're not exactly sure, but here's a couple of like just, just basic takeaways from the corporate press. Uh, Epstein's Jaw bones were broken in his neck, consistent with strangulation, <laughs> according to the autopsy. Okay, got it. It shows 60 Minutes uh, went to the aut over the autopsy of Jeffrey Epstein uh, with this uh, doctor who's famous. And uh, due to the visuals of Epstein's deceased body, uh, they marked this sensitive. Also from CBS News. Source familiar with the investigation, Jeffrey Epstein, says that it was two hours before his body was found. Two hours, ladies and gentlemen. That's that's how long you can remain in your cell dying uh, by your own hand. Got it? A lot of cover-up reason for Jeffrey Epstein. The court's documents allege sex tapes taken from Prince Andrew, Bill Clinton, and Sir Richard Branson by Jeffrey Epstein. Where do those tapes exist now? Well, you've all seen the, the boat of the FBI raiding Jeffrey Epstein's Little St. James Island. I wonder who has those records. I wonder who called this out like 10 years ago. Uh, Bill Clinton. Nice guy, 
Uh, got a lot of problems coming up, in my opinion, with the famous island with Jeffrey Epstein. A lot of problems. Uh, so, yeah, ladies and gentlemen, uh, this is going to be a tough ride for Bill Clinton if Donald Trump actually does release these records. We'll wait and see. Donald Trump saying Jeffrey Epstein was not somebody that I respected. Donald Trump famously banned Jeffrey Epstein from his club and was the only celebrity to help the Palm Beach Police Department uh, convict him uh, for sex trafficking. Donald Trump's the only person who helped, according to the prosecutor in that case. Uh, and that, that information is publicly available. Uh, okay, so is Donald Trump going to be president? Well, actually, after the guilty verdict, all of Donald Trump's polling has shot through the roof. After the sham charges, literally, uh, let's see, charges were politically motivated. Uh, yes, verdict on a Trump trial was not correct. Correct, don't know. Yeah, that's right, because nobody was able to actually... Nobody was able to actually tell you what Donald Trump did. So people, everyone is, everybody is just basically confused. And they're trying to drown people out here. The American people are not buying it. Post-conviction polls show increase in support for Donald Trump. A vast majority of the polls show Donald Trump going up and Joe Biden going down. Uh, people don't like it when you try and lock up your political opponent instead of just fighting fair. You look like a scumbag. Some polls find that Donald Trump's ratings went up six points, which is pretty remarkable. It'd be the biggest jump of the entire election. So release the files, do the damage. The people, we can handle it. We know our government's evil. Uh, time to uh, prove it and sunlight is the best disinfectant, right? Right. It's your boy Benny, like, share, and subscribe if you want them to release the Epstein and JFK files. See ya.